Ten-year Treasury note futures open this session under moderate pressure. It seems that there's some carryover from Friday's University of Michigan report and declining inflation expectations that also seem to have prompted some Fed speak. We heard Friday from Bostic and Bullard arguing against a 100 basis point rate hike. Combine that with uh, People's Bank of China Governor Yi Zhang, who uh, confirmed that the bank is going to step up efforts with regards to monetary policy there when we saw a big risk on rally in China. That's offset a little bit by political uncertainty that continues in Italy with Draghi uh, offering his resignation this past week. And also all eyes and ears are on the ECB for this Thursday. Um, consensus expecting a 25 basis point rate hike there. Uh, most of our session, the market continued to consolidate price action, still pressed a little bit lower. Um, early morning Wall Street Journal report citing all but confirming a 75 basis point rate hike uh, by the Fed in two weeks time. Also saw uh, domestic equities open up higher, the NASDAQ uh, touching one week highs, the Dow up about two and a half week highs. U.S. data, not so good. July's NAHB housing index uh, plumbed down to a two-year low. Also, 10-year break-even um, inflation expectations hit a two-and-a-half-week high, trading over 2.41. In the afternoon, the dollar continued to uh, falter. Um, domestic equities trying to hold on to gains. And 10-year uh, yield continued to trade in a pretty narrow range as everybody seems to be waiting for tomorrow's report on housing. We have housing starts, building permits, and also two announcements for auctions, a four-week and an eight-week. Looking at options, I look at CME Group Seaball. Uh, at the money vols in August, slightly lower today, although skew is higher as the put variance is down more than the up variance or call variance is. Option volume fairly spread out, seeing uh, volume in the 119 half and 119 call area in August on the put side to 118 and 117 put. Lastly, uh, CME Group E Micro Mini Yield Based Treasury Futures and volume and open interest there continues to grow. Friday's volume was 1,847, open interest was 3,828.